This demonstration will focus on the Point Cloud Deviation Tool, which compares as-built conditions captured using 3D laser scanning equipment against the design model during various phases of construction. This tool is available in BricsCAD BIM V22. In this example, the process of validating the floor slab flatness against a scan captured during construction will be reviewed. The design file being used is a partial structural model of the Hexagon PPM 305 Intergraph Way building in Huntsville, Alabama. Capturing point cloud as-built information during multiple phases of construction empowers designers and contractors to validate accuracy of design and quality of construction. The structural model represents the desired result during construction. It must always be recognized that structural design models rarely reflect intentional deviations due to camber and other minor warping needed in anticipation of additional loads that will be added due to interior construction, equipment, furniture, finishes, and the people occupying the facility. Here, the point cloud scan of the structure during construction is being inserted or attached into our model. The point cloud model has been pre-processed and will insert very quickly. The point cloud model and the design model align exactly. The point cloud will have captured more than just the structure, including construction equipment, other materials, and debris. The expectation isn't an exact match between structure and point cloud, but rather an expected deviation within allowable tolerances. Often there is more point cloud than is needed for the analysis. Using the point cloud tools, the point cloud can be cropped to remove from display only portions of the point cloud. The cropped information can be easily restored as needed. With the combination of design model and point cloud model, we are ready to investigate how flat the slab is compared to real life or as built structure. It is possible to compare any planar elements against the point cloud model, including floors and walls. Focusing on a portion of the design is preferred. In this example, we will focus on the second floor slab first. Here, we are isolating the slab to perform the deviation analysis. Next, we change to a top view of the model. Once the analysis is started, only the elements needed for this part of the building are selected. After a rapid processing period, the view changes to graphically represent the results with an accompanying dialog box illustrating the settings. The tolerances can be changed from the dialog or command line as needed to reflect typical construction tolerances. As settings are changed, the color heat map updates. The colors are predefined showing a continuous blend from acceptable to approaching a warning limit to outside of tolerances. This setting can be changed to show discrete color sections too. The dialog also displays point deviation results by percentage. Now a more focused area of the model will be analyzed. Often analysis is focused on specific areas of the design. In this example, the view is looking from the interior on the second floor looking towards the outside. Again, after a short amount of time, the view changes to a graphic representation of the deviation analysis. This process can be repeated elsewhere in the project as needed. BricsCAD BIM V22 allows you to quickly analyze and understand difference between design and reality. When finished with our analysis, we close the dialog and return to the model.